So the second quarter's underway here, five minutes in. Hold your position. Missed a bit there because the flipping hard drive got full on the camera. And um, here we are, second quarter's underway. Five minutes in. And the Blues are yet to score, so we have not missed much. They did go forward once. And it's 30 point lead to Glasshouse. Now the Blues go forward. Who two? To nobody. And Jesse Birrell drops it, and we just haven't had a clean pair of hands on the field all day. We've been dropping it consistently. Oh, look, he just dances around him. Has a bounce just to show off. Hand passes over the top. And Liam nearly dives on it. Missed the ball. He comes back for a second dip. Franco shows a touch of class and gets the ball out. Buller on the wing. Runs around the wing. He just eludes the oncoming player. And what's he done with it? Yes! It's Braden Heatherton. Heatherton, is it? He's passed it off to Callum Mann. Callum Mann kicks it. Very good looking 4A forward. Is this is Braden. What's he done? Is it Braden Hughes? We've scored! Yep, guilty. We've got something on the board finally. So, second quarter. Midway through. 30 points, plays one. And it's not looking good. So on the far wing, the ball's there, it's going to stop, it's stopped. How often does that happen in a game? And he kicks it down for Glasshouse to the forward flank. Jackson, oh he grabs him, throws him. And that was a bit of a toss, that was a bit of a toss. Once he paid it such, yes he has. Okay, so Glasshouse have it. Score check while we're over in that vicinity is that. Yes. Not tight enough. Bombs it inside 50. A oh, great mark by Zach Southern. Booming kick down the wing. Four and one. And one of the four win. Zach. He's a lone soldier out there, out in the four. So, waiting for the throw in. Sorry, it was out of it was a kick in. Kane, you correct me if I make a mistake. A bit blurry eyed because Collingwood won the elimination final last night versing or yesterday versing Adelaide. And that was a, we're in the middle of the first week of finals in the big league. And uh, Geelong are going to play St Kilda today. So here goes uh, Jackson, or was it Zach? Who was it? All right, is that, that's young Jesse Birrell. He kicks it to Fra Franco, Franco. Oh, great kick, Franco. 75 metre kick down the wing. Keenan, what's he done? He's just dribbled it along the ground. And it's just a scrap. Oh, he threw it. Come on, boys! Not pretty. Who gets it? The Lions do. Force it to centre half back. It's a free kick to the Blues. So that was um, number eight, Alex Bateman. It's in the forward goal square, and it couldn't be, could it? A free to the Blues right in front. This could be the first goal. And football's a funny thing, especially in grand finals. Keenan's got it, is he? Keenan Dielton, whose brother plays in the under 
twelves. He kicks it from point blank range and he's dumped it! And the Blues have got their first. Seven to thirty. It's a comeback. We've got the last seven points of the game. One one seven. Umpire has it in the high diddle diddle. Waiting for everything to look clear. It's clear. The ball is in the air. And it is Jackson. And out of the centre. As they so regularly do. It was Glasshouse and defending again. Franco. Best on ground for the Blues. And kicks it. But can't get past centre. So they're building for another attack at goal by Glasshouse. Oh, it's a great pass. And the guy that looks uh, two years older than the rest of the blokes on the field kicks it to full forward and another guy's got it for the Glasshouse and he's going to line them up for the second goal of the quarter to the Lions. Okay, what can he do? Should be able to kick it from there. He hit, hit the... The stick. Actually, it's a steel, isn't it? It's made out of steel. Uh, it didn't sound like woodwork. It sounded like the pole. So, hit the pole. Hit the pole. Like young, young Geordie's arrived in the coach's box here to add his own specialist comments. And, and what's your assessment? He said an old guy collapsed. Who did? An old guy collapsed. Well, it, it's not, it mustn't have been watching our game because our game isn't very nervy. Really? He might have had a heart attack or something. Is he is he is he moving? He's just over there. Is he alright or what? I don't know. He's just sitting there. Where is he? Is he sitting there? Is he awake or is he unconscious? I don't know. I just looked at him. But if that's the effect that you have, Geordie, when you look at people, don't look at me, mate. <laughs> Please spare me one. So the ambulance is here today for some old guy who's collapsed. And Keenan forces the ball over the far wing. So, thrown back into play. Jackson over his shoulder. Zach. Zach. Couldn't get past the other guy's butt. And what is it? Put his hands on the head, I think, there. They've, they've given it the advantage rule. And it should be an air ball free. And it is. So, the game has levelled somewhat now. This court has been an even affair. One goal apiece. Oh, luck, luck's a fortune. Jackson picks up the error. Franco is killing them at centre back. They need more Francos on the ground. And who is it? Buller? Alex Bateman. Round the corner to the wing. There's a chase. There's a race. Now we'll get it. Further along the wing. And there's a siren somewhere. Not our game. That was Jack Schreiber. What happened there? Umpire's given them another free kick. Uh, well. Yep, so it's called play on. Glasshouse. Stuff it up. Zach, Zach. He wanted it. Passes it off. Nambor bursting forward. Two, who? It was Athen Mullane, and he pushed him on the back a bit there. Alex Bateman, he didn't want it. There's a tug of war. Tug, 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 tug. And Braden couldn't tug hard enough. So there's a ball up. Buller has a shot. This will make his old man happy. And we've got it. Is it Braden? Beauty. Son of a gun here. Ready, second goal. This old man's in front of me. Watching intently as Braden lines up for two goals in a row to the Blues. What can they do? Surely he can kick this. He's done it. He's got it through. No penalty. Two in a row, Blues. This old man here. Are you alright, Franco? And three goals difference now. Three goals in difference. So this game is off. So the margin is very attainable now. That it's is only a three-goal gap. That, that is. 
and come, come from behind wins are always the more sweeter. So if we can get the next one, that really puts pressure on the opposition. Another, another camera. Yeah, there's cameras everywhere. And the Lions. Oh, it's not looking good. You've got to run hard, Blue. I reckon he's just missed it. And their inaccuracy is keeping our Blue Boys alive at this stage. Because it's a... A 19 point margin, and it was out to a 30 point margin at one particular point in this quarter. So Franco kicks it into Zach, and uh, Harry's on. Harry, haven't seen him on the ground yet. Harry, they need it, Harry. Plenty of muscle. He's been on, I just haven't called him yet. So where, where's the ball? Uh oh, it's not looking good. Callum Mann got bumped, considered in the side and fair. And they go forward, Glasshouse, I reckon he's hit the post again. The same post, is it? Oh, so Dylan Osborne's about to come on. He's about to come on, is Dylan. And who's coming off? Alex Bateman, is it? Yep. So Alex Bateman's coming off. It's Franco. Just racks up possessions here and kicks it to Jackson. Jackson ran under it. Couldn't get there. And that was young Shrives, was it? Yeah, in the back. Not Shrives, sorry. That was um, Haberman. And... It's Franco. Troy, was it? Troy Haber Who's got it? Is that Troy? Uh, who's got the ball? Franco's hurt. Oh, what's wrong with Franco? Franco's on his knees. Um, not looking good. They're not looking good. We don't want Franco down, he's our best player. That'll put a bit of a hole in our back line. We're working on him. Okay. Stalling play. And Jesse Burrell comes over to the boundary for some instruction. He doesn't look good. Doesn't look like he's going to take any further part in this game at all. He cannot move a leg. I think the ball's going to come back to, to Troy Haberman, Haberman, is it? Yeah, we should clap him Number 13. Yeah, clap him off. A bit louder. Well done, Franco. You were killing him, mate. You're killing him. Okay, young. Ball. Gets it. To, whoa, what's going on? There's a siren. It's half time. Score check, half time is 20 point lead to the non preferred team. Got to make another two quarters of that and more. You got it in you? Yeah. Yes. You're going to need it. You're going to need two more quarters, boys. All right. Back to one sensational. All right. We're really desperate. Reach out of five's gonna lift. And whoever's going in there, you're gonna work harder now. As hard as you've done all year. Then on the training track. It's all it's gonna take, boys, is committing it now for two more quarters of football. I spoke to the back line. All we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna cut Sunny off. We've gotta do it, alright? I've given you instructions, you have to do it. Let's cut Sunny off, cut his leads off. Troy's gonna be right with him, gonna wear him like a rash. Okay? Once he... If he does get the football, he leads hard, keeps going forward, handballs off. So you half-back flankers and half centre half-back, come back with it, because you know where he's going, don't you? Where's he going? He's going to his half-forward line. So he just takes the ball, gets a foot in, keeps running away from goal and just handballs off. So be aware of that, boys. Let's just be smart. Okay? Smart football, you're never out of the game. Not out of the game for two minutes. Unless it's down the other end. Half down the other end. That's when you have a breather. Alright? If you're within 50 metres, 50 metres of the football, you're still in the game. It's where the next kick's going. So don't just sit back and relax and go, oh geez, it's 50 metres away, I'm gonna have a spell now. No! You're gonna work harder. Everyone here. 
All right, that's all it's going to take now. It's hard work. None of these people can do anything for you. We're relying on you kids to give 100% for the next two quarters. Boys. You will reap the rewards. We'll all be happy, great. But you guys have got to reap the rewards. You've got to work hard to get to this, to get to a, to get to a winning stage in the grand final. And you can do it, I know you can. It's that airborne spirit. It's in that jumper, the jumper that you're wearing now. Go boys! Go boys! Go boys! All right, you're getting instructions from Peter. Let's just follow him. We'll work hard. That's all we got to do. You think you can do it? Yes! You're going to work as a team? Yes! That's what I want to do it. That's all you got to do is work as a team. Remember, don't just go chasing kicks. Chasing the footy around the paddock. If it's 10 or 15 metres away and you're just chasing after it, is that the smart thing to do? No. Find some space. It'll be that next option. Okay? But if you want to come into the contest, do something in there. Don't just chase the footy around. Put a hip and shoulder on. That's what they're doing to us. They're knocking us off the football. How about we turn that around and put them off the football? <laughs> Attack the thing hard! What it's going to take? Let's win this fight! What it's going to take? Gotta go, alright? Come on boys, you can do it!